Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Drona HQ. And in this video, we are going to see how to customize and personalize your controls available on Drona HQ. As we all know that Drona HQ provides us with vast number of controls which help us to input data, display data, as well as to provide an output source. So to make your controls much more uh, visibly attractive and much more apt according to your website, you can use our DHQ feature, our Drona HQ feature of Control Designer, which enables you to uh, go to its minute detailing with the help of CSS as well as we do have provide like a proper properties functions and much more. So hi, my name is Shibam Dhar and I'm developer advocate at Drona HQ. Today I will show you a step-by-step -step procedure, a tutorial type, which will enable you to create your own personalized controls in Drona HQ. So let's just dive into it. So uh, I'm in my Drona HQ account and uh, to locate your control designer all you have to do uh, first of all you must have a proper plan which i must suggest an enterprise plan and you just have to go to your settings and in the under extension you will find control designer now when i click on it just click on plus give it a new unique name let's say cards right so let's say display name weather card Search tag weather. Let's just give it a head. So this is our like the designer where you can like explore the different types of layouts and basic building blocks. Like in from the right hand side, you can just select from your layout like how to use this. You can just drag and drop and make it resizable and provide it different types of controls and like is the nav bar or an image and much more like if i go to style manager and provide it a state and then do its positioning like if i want it to be relative or do i want to be absolute and resizing of course we do provide much more than that we have typography if you even if you have your code with you for the whole control you can just come here and click on edit code and you will just you just have to paste your html as well as css so what i'll do so in front of me i have this simple weather app design available on code pen okay so this is the compiled html i have in front of me on code pen and i'll just copy this and put it here and i'll just copy this css also and put it here awesome now let's click on save see it just takes few minutes in case you have a developer or you already have a plan available with you like how you want the control to be shown you can just do simply copy and paste right so you do have all the edit part here you i mean if you want to do any further changes with the css part or with the code you can do it right here now for further uh for further customization or editing you can just select something like let's say i am selecting this and if I just go and click on like this, you can see that I can do changes on real time basis, right? Now let's move ahead with our motive to build our weather app. I don't want this to be looking like this, but more of let's say this kind, right? So this is nice and slick, which uh, much more to my own flavor. Like I have this gradient in the back and I have this enter city name in the front and it is actually an input part where which will be helpful in our later app development so we have an image and right here i have i'm showing the celsius or the temperature you can say and then i have this location and a small image which i will be keeping it consistent since it is just for humidity basis and this text which will all which will not be a static but will be dynamic and this humidity will also be static so this bindable features helps us to provide it a data source from our Drona HQ app builder. So you can see right here, I've made it both. So I want it to be static as well as uh, dynamic and the field name I have provided is a uh, city name and the data will be uh, as a string value, right? So next time when I put any sort of data from my 
dona hq application it it will be, it should be a string value now similarly i have made this image also bindable like it should be both temperature image and of on this also so basically all the details which i want to be made dynamic i made them bindable right okay now once that done all you have to do is publish the component and save it simple so publishing will ask you to please provide it a note and then clicking on save will help you to save this component and it will be available on your drone hq uh app builder right so let's get back to my app builder this one right here awesome so the <clears throat> this is known as weather card so i'll just search for weather card and you can see i have my weather card right here let me drop it okay awesome <clears throat> now if i just play put it here let me make it in a mobile protect view okay okay mm. okay right and let me make i don't want the header to be visible okay good so i mean it just took me five minutes max to make this whole new control available i hope you will try it on your own to build your custom looking uh, controls for your own app development on drone hq and i will be back again with more tutorials and guides from drone hq thank you